I just played a traditional African djembe. This drum is one of many that I used to teach girls and students of color with at Walltown Children's Theater in Durham. Walltown is about a five minute drive from Duke's East Campus and consists of both a musical instrument studio and a dance company. I hit drums ranging from the African djembe to the American drum set. And I, I used to think it was instruments like these that defined who I was. I grew up thinking that percussion was a what rather than a who. Percussion was the instruments I played. It was the pieces I performed. It was the drumline cadences in the stands of the football stadium. Percussion was advertised to me on the posters in my high school band hall. They were covered with faces of Caucasian men holding their Vic first drumsticks with pride and wearing their drums on a harness. I started playing percussion when I was in the third grade, persuaded by my elementary school piano teacher that a xylophone was really just a 3D version of a piano on wheels. Whatever that meant, right? And a marimba, my personal instrument of choice, just a bigger xylophone. And, and I believed her because I was in the third grade and still thought that the mallet I used, the size of it was what determined the pitch produced by this large instrument. And I know now over a decade and several physics and music classes later that that's not how percussion works. And also a decade later, I realized that the posters I grew up with on which nobody looked like me, a five foot short Indian girl, were also not how percussion worked. Percussion was more than the instruments I played and the pieces I performed. It was the community it built the determination it gave me to keep persevering, not only for my own solo contests and recitals, but to give back to the music community and show the freshmen in my drumline that percussion could be for them too. Drumming was for everyone. It was for me, it was for the Caucasian boys in my section, it was for all the girls and children I teach at Walltown every year, as it is for every individual worldwide who wants to learn. One of my girls at Walltown came and told me a few weeks ago that during her first lesson, watching me hit that drum with pride and confidence and hold my own in an ensemble was more empowering than anything I could have told her with words. And that idea is why we as percussionists have the phrase drum talk. Drumming is something that crosses boundaries of language, of culture, and it builds understanding. But it took me so long to develop that understanding too that percussion was also for me. There are very few role models in percussion, very few of them are female, and even fewer of them are women of color. Evelyn Glennie, the famous deaf female percussionist who hears via vibrations through her feet. Keiko Abe, the famous Japanese marimbas whose pieces I've yearned to master and memorize. But despite reading and watching videos of these women performing amazingly, they were still so removed from the culture of my own section. My percussion section in high school had very few girls and even fewer of them had skin the color of mine. And it was always difficult to imagine myself in the place of Miss Glennie or Miss Abe when all the, fe all the posters I saw every day I went to class were of Mark Ford and Michael Burrett and all these other famous male percussion composers, but none of them looked like me. And it's very hard to imagine yourself in music, in percussion going forward when you don't fit the mold. I was told several times in my career to stop expecting things, stop expecting achievements. I was never given a chance to wear a drum on a harness like these men. And even as section leader, everything that went awry in my section instantly became my fault. And believe me, there are so many things. <laughs> Beginning with which, forgetting the mallet box before a concert, probably the most important thing in the percussion section, one of my instruments getting crushed by my band's trailer and a car right in front of my eyes, 10 seconds before we're supposed to start moving for our performance. That was a fun conversation with my director that day. And then uh, one of the tops of my mallets falling off mid-performance and impaling me in the face. And I just had to keep going and I was on TV and it was just, okay, here we are, this is, this is how it is. So percussion has its very real occupational hazards and its struggles, but Despite all of that, I always felt like the biggest struggle was not feeling like I had a role model who really supported me in the environment I grew up. And therefore, I didn't feel like I really fit in. And that's why I'm so grateful that Duke has given me the chance to teach at Walltown and give back to the community and show these girls that percussion could be for them too to help prevent them from experiencing the same sort of discrimination that I did when I was growing up. Along with Mr. Ernest McHenry, I teach weekly and bi-weekly private lessons at Walltown. 
I teach music theory lessons. I talk about the importance of music for stress relief and connect it to careers like medicine and computer science and show these kids the life skill they learn from drumming and being a part of this community. I will never force them to continue taking lessons with me, but instead to just be the role model for them that I wanted as a child. What I remember most from these lessons are the conversations I have with my kids as I set up and take down my drum kit. We talk about life, we talk about sports, we talk about any issues and worries they have for the upcoming semester. And I realized that what mattered most in these conversations is them having someone to look up to who had been through it all and come out the other side and could help them with their experiences. My girls have brought up concerns of not wanting to audition for high school band because they, they feel inferior to their peers and not feeling like they have a role model in the middle school percussion section. But over the course of almost four semesters now of the private lessons I teach, we have improved students' confidence with drumming and our turnout for private lessons, especially of girls of color, has increased exponentially. I started the drum circle program at the Durham Nutcracker this year, and over six performances in November, our turnout for private lessons increased so grand, and what most of my girls came and told me afterwards that that experience was what convinced them to take private lessons with me this semester in the spring. And it doesn't take much more than a few conversations a week, a few hours working with these kids, talking with them about homework and making sure they understand that they, are, they have a right to be here, talking with Ernest about the importance of life and music and how we can show these children that they can be like us. And out of all the students I teach, I'm the one who's learned the most. I've learned skills of empathy, of understanding, and of communicating both with and without the drum. And that's why sometimes for my classes, I leave the drums at home. Because percussion is a who, not a what. Percussion is who drumming makes you, what it teaches you about music and culture, and how it shapes your understanding of the world. Percussion as an entity is a network of strong, independent, diverse women who can take over the face of the posters and be the change that we wish to see in our sections. Music and its power for mentorship are more powerful when you know and feel what is true, that you fit in and you belong. I knew if I didn't try to do this mentorship now, I would see the same face of pain and exclusion in students who came after me 20 years from now. And I didn't want to see that. I never identified with the mentors I had growing up because their view of percussion just did not include me. I want to be a girl that these students can come to when they have dreams for their lives, when they feel like no one else will support them, and be there for them through it all. Percussion is more than the faces on the posters that you grow up with and the students in your section. As I said, music is more powerful when you know what is true. You fit in and you belong. And that's why this was so important to me. This is not just about percussion or about breaking gender and racial stereotypes in your way. It's about knowing that you have someone behind you the entire time who was there for you all along. And that's why this was so important to me. And I think that after all of this, third grade Arthi would be proud. Thank you. <laughs>